Oh, ladies and gentlemen, as we join viewers from around the world live on YouTube, this is Fight Club Rush 10 from the beautiful city of Vestro, Sweden! <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, Fight Club Rush present three three minute rounds in the amateur lightweight division. Introducing first in the blue corner with a record of one win and one defeat. Weighing in at 70.3 kilograms from Sweden by way of Greece, Dimitris Hitman Dimitri Harness. And his opponent in the red corner tonight, he makes his debut. Weighing in at 70.3 kilograms, also from Sweden, Hanson Gellström! Your referee in charge of the action, Daniel Eklund. Daniel Eklund in charge of the action of the very first fight of the night. An interesting Demetrius Hitman, Demetrius. I didn't know that was must be a new addition. Yeah, why not? Why not? Whereas on the I other like end, it. I've heard Anton Hellström being called Hellraiser. So Anton Hellraiser Hellström. And I got to say, I like that, not just because I'm a big fan of the Hellraiser series. All and right. there we go. Dimitri springs out. Oh, wow. Jumping front kick for the boxer. And as mentioned before, Anton Hellström is as heralded as they come when it comes to uh, boxing here in Sweden is a two-time boxing champion and he has between 55 and 60 fights underneath his belt. Nice knees in the clincher. Yeah. Dimitri is immediately starting investing in those leg kicks. You can see he's moving, fainting. I like these level changes even though he hasn't shot yet. I know that uh, Anton Elström's coaches was expecting him to shoot quite early and Anton as well. Well, I mean, if you are facing a two-time national boxing champion, it would be wise to perhaps at least threaten the takedown. You know, get your opponent to think about it. Oh, that was a nice little exchange there, both. And a good kick to the body there for Dimitriades. Dimitris being a slightly undisciplined in close range. Coming in with his head on the straight line. I thought so too, but he was perhaps... Oh, that was a nice, nice right hand, hand connected there. Oh, that Low was knee there from both, I think. I think they both connected. Yep, and there, that's the delay effect right there for Dimitris. I think that one it was not a good one. I mean, that always is the risk when you go for knees in the clinch. It's, you know, of course, never intentional, but every now and then you just might miscalculate where, you're let, where your knee is going or perhaps your opponent shifts position. And, yeah, it is an unfortunate part of the sport that is really kind of unavoidable. I mean, so long as people have crotches, they will get <laughs> accidentally struck. It's just the way it is. Yep, and Demetrius will have up to five minutes here, so he can take his time to recover and there's no need to rush here. Yeah, absolutely not. And as mentioned, Hellstrom making the move from boxing to MMA. He's been training MMA for about two years. I think Dimitris' uh, cup here is broken. Oh, the cup is broken. Oh. I've never heard that in my life. I've never seen that before. I mean, that knee must have been insanely hard. Yeah, I've never heard of that before either, where a, a cup breaks from a, from a strike. I mean, I that... wonder, what do you do here? I mean, do you do you use these five minutes to go get another cup? I mean, he can't go on with a broken cup. And yeah, he can't exactly. go on without a cup. I mean, you, we've got to do that. We've got to find a replacement cup. It's 
As we watch the replay here, they're in the clinch, knees landing on the stomach. At uh, first, yeah, that was the first clinch exchange. I think this is where we became. Oh, just missed it. Okay, so as we're waiting, we're waiting to find out if we can get another cup for Dimitris. And they are scrambling to try and find. All right, it seems like we have found a replacement cup. It will be delivered shortly. Or are they continuing? Quite sure what the solution is as of now. Okay, from the look of it, I think Dimitris needs to get his head back in the game right now because he, um, yeah, he looked a bit confused, and uh, we were all confused. But now the fight goes on. Hard leg kick from Dimitris. We can see Hellstrom already switching st stances, but he has been switching quite a bit. Dimitris in on the single leg. Good guillotine Good. counter there. Oh, that was a nice shot there. Caught Dimitriotis as he was sort of heading in there. Beautiful one-two there by Hellstrom. And one thing that I noticed from uh, Hellstrom's boxing was that he loved to be sort of switching stance and sh throwing short uppercuts in the clinch while boxing. He has some fantastic uppercuts. He's dropped quite a few opponents with uppercuts to the body. Will we see the first takedown of the night? Oh, ever so close. Yep. Demetrius needs to get his head around the wizard. All right, now Anton is in a better position to defend. Very disciplined with the wizard, yep. Dimitris gets him down briefly. He needs to use his head here and put his forehead under the chin of Hellström. But does Anton get... All right. Dimitris needs to... Yep. Needs to watch out for the triangle there. How hard. crazy would it be if a boxer got a submission off of his back in his very first MMA bout? There's a lot of things happening here on the ground. Dimitris now on his back, landing hard, hard shots. And that's the first round. Well, it was an eventful round to say the least. Had a little wow. bit of everything and tough crowd to score. Yes. I mean, CM, I don't know how you have it scored. I mean, Hellstrom landed, I, I would say he outlanded him effectively with those crisp one twos. Dimitris mm -hmm. had to wake up a little bit in the beginning. I mean, Hellstrom has been very active in boxing. Yeah. Uh, it was not that long ago that he competed. And I know Dimitris hasn't competed in a while. So maybe Dimitris needed that first round to get going. And after that cup incident, we could see he started to Im implement his wrestling. Yeah. But on the ground, it was back and forth until the last few seconds. So yeah. that's a great question, Sebastian. I don't know. Well, I'm glad we don't have that task. <laughs> And we can just pretty much react to it. Oh, yeah, there was the replay of the sure. knee. Every man watching this right all across the world just sort of flinched up seeing that replay. And it was August 2020 was the last time that Dimitriadis competed. It was a yeah. submission loss to the rising star Martin Corny, who has been linked to bouts here in FCR, just hasn't really materialized. Yeah, but Dimitri is still an amateur, but he has been taking these quite big amateur spots. You know, yeah. FCR, Brave, and now FCR again, and not fighting as much on the, the, the local, you know, um, Swedish MMA league um, fights where Martin Corny has been staying very active. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing. He, he really, he likes these big tests. I mean, a lot of... The martial arts community they're well aware of Anton Hellström and I'm sure there's not a huge line of people wanting to face him all right we have some issues 
with the shin guard. And that is the risk with them. You know, they will get turned around a little bit. Oh, that was a nice shot there from Hesco. Yep. Some bruising on the right side of the face of Demetriadis. Some clear evidence of good strikes there from Hesco. You see, the, 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 they end up in the clinch a lot, but I can see, I mean, Hellstrom, the boxer, he is used to the clinch, even though you often get broken up by the referee. Mm. He likes to do a lot of his work here. You can see that. Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, both boxing and MMA, he's having a lot of success in the clinch. Oh, he went for a hip toss, but didn't quite get it. That's the risk. He has to get... Get that grip out. Yep. And it looked for a moment like Helston was almost going for like a stand, standing rear naked choke type of position. I am loving these knees. Yeah, yeah. and they are paying dividends right now. I can see that in Demetrius face. These knees and the, this body work is right now, like the investment is paying off right now. Absolutely. I mean, it just zaps your injury, especially in these later rounds. But Demetrius is not out of this, not at all. Oh, he's a warrior. Now that was um, a knee to the head, unfortunately. Oh, that is unfortunate. And did he bust up his eyebrow? I think we'd have to take a look at a replay. I would hate to see it being the result of an illegal strike that open up that cut let's take a look here oh. well yeah it was a glancing strike and i mean it definitely was unintentional he was trying to get him while yes well they were exiting the clinch position so however i won't be surprised if we see a point taken away i mean even if it was unintentional that's the thing, you are responsible for your own weapons, and um, you, you could say it depends on how you look at it. Demetrius was having his head there, it was very quick off the exchange, off mm -hmm. the break. So I'm, I'm not sure if they take a point. I mean, they can also look at the effect. And now, right now, the, the referee is talking to Demetrius and assessing like how much damage did that knee cause and do we take a point because of that yeah oh they just stopped the fight oh no that's the fight that is a shame fight stopped due to an illegal strike wanted this to go no and I'm unsure of what is the result gonna be is it a DQ win is it a no contest yeah there's a lot of discussions going on here folks and uh, it's hard for us to keep up with everything but we try to keep you guys in the loop we're doing our best <laughs> it's been a Kind of crazy fight in many aspects, that's for sure. Yep. And the question is if it's going to be a DQ or no contest. By the look of Anton Hellstrom's face, it might be a DQ.
Ladies and gentlemen, referee Daniel Eklund calls for the contest at 1 minute and 34 seconds of round number two. At the advice of the doctor for your winner by disqualification, in the blue corner, Demetrius Apeman, Dimitri Hartes. Yep, and as we uh, expected, the winner is Dimitris Dimitriades. Obviously not the way you wanted to get the win. Neither of you wanted it to end this way. What are your thoughts and feelings spontaneously after the crazy fight that just happened? It's, it's sad that it had to end like this. We did a very good fight round, round two. I got one knee to my junk right, right here. My sus got like broken. Uh, it's bent inwards, and then I need to the eye, and the doctor stopped it, so I don't know. Both of us did a good, good two rounds, but I don't know, yeah, not the way I thought this would end. Well, it was a great fight as long as it lasted. I'm sure maybe the fans thought so as well. What about running this one back? What about a rematch so that it doesn't have to end this way? Yeah, sure, we'll be fine. It's a very good debut, but I don't know respect to him. And uh, yeah, thanks for everyone coming, my coaches who put down the time to us, my family, my fiance. Thank you to everyone who's here. And thank you, Tanto, for this fight. Thank you. All right, it was a great fight from both competitors. Also to Zdatko and FCR for doing a great job. Thank you, thank you. Always hats off to FCR. Anton. What can you tell us? What's on your mind after what just happened? This is fucked up, man. I'm, I mean, the first knee was on, was really low, and I apologize for that, but the, the second knee, I think it was to the body, and he dipped into it, but it is what it is. I just want to thank everyone to, who came out to support. Thank all from Javle. Shout out to all of you. I don't know if I was going to start here, but... Fuck it. Dimitris, two folks. So. Are you down for a rematch? Of course, man. Next Fight Club Rush. Of course, we got, got the rematch. Of course. I just want to thank everyone who came out to support. I'm sorry for the ending, but I don't know. Shit happens and fuck it. Next time. Thanks, everyone. Slatko, thank you. All right. Let's hear it for both competitors, ladies and gentlemen.